TTs, welcome back to the channel. Popular food critic Keith Lee took a food tour around the DMV area and he was highly unsatisfied. Yes, he decided to come to the DC, Maryland, and Virginia area to try some food. And he said that he couldn't even post the reviews of the food places and he wasn't going to shout the food places out that he went to because the criticism wouldn't have been constructive. Now, of course, this was definitely very embarrassing for the people in the DMV area. We're like, who gave Keith Lee this list of places to go to because there is a couple of places in the DMV area that are definitely popping and they have good food so why would people send him to the ranky dank places okay like I said a lot of people spoke out from the DMV area and had a lot to say we're gonna get into those videos but first we gotta get into Keith Lee's video now the only place that he was satisfied with was the jerk at night place I believe that's what it's called that's also a place that I went to that I like as well so I wasn't surprised that he liked that place but every other place he had a horrible time of course people from the dmv area do not want to be represented bad so some rappers some people had a lot to say about keith lee stop giving keith lee the little ranky dank places give him the high up the high scale the good food places that he can go to in the dmv area we're hoping that he gives the dmv area another chance anyways without further ado let's go ahead and get into these videos a few things i want to talk about so let's talk about it i know we only posted about three spots from washington but we went to about 12 and we made a decision as a family and as a team and also a personal decision to not post most of them. So out of those 12, I probably only got like one or two more that I'm gonna post. And the reason for that, a lot of those videos, in my opinion, are constructive at all. And before the narrative start, I'm gonna show a few clips of the places that we did go to. And again, I don't think they're constructive. So for privacy of the restaurants that we went to, I'm not gonna say what restaurant it is. I'm gonna just show you a little bit of our personal experience. It's the whiten with the sweet potatoes and mac and cheese. Fortunately, I won't be trying any of it. As always, I ain't trying to be rude, I'm just be honest. The smell of this, insane this perforated the whole car immediately so much so that my family went back in and asked if they fried it in the same grease that they did the shellfish and come to find out they do and it smelled like it it smells like shellfish it smells like frozen fish it smells like fish it smells almost unedible in my opinion i don't want to smoke mm -mm. The entire customer service experience, in my opinion and in my family's opinion, was completely unprofessional. It said on the IG that they opened at 1 o'clock. The truck didn't open up until 2.15. It took about 45 minutes. When they went back to go get the food, they saw her preparing it. No gloves, no washing hands, grabbing money, grabbing strawberries, grabbing fruity pebbles, and putting it on top of our food. Mm. Uh. Some chicken tastes weird. The reason there's no food in my hand is because a lot of the restaurants we've been recommended since we've been here look like this. And I'm not the target audience just based on the pictures. It went her hand! She was playing her hand in the cereal box! Another thing, the only thing I ran the water. Is the hell she cooking in the back? That's what I'm saying. I should be trying to clean it. I have a question. Do you guys have water? I ain't got no point to lie. We just out here eating food praying and staying with our families, mind our business. We also went to a lot of places that were recommended. That's one thing that I really wanna make clear in this video is that we went to places that were recommended and we did a lot of research. We've been here for a week and every day since we've been here, we've been in the Sprinter for at least 10 hours a day, just going around trying food, driving an hour to each spot. And since we've been here, we've been blessed enough to sell $30,000 to various restaurants around the DMV. So I don't appreciate it and I don't think it's fair that we get criticized for not doing research or not going to a lot of restaurants in DC or the DMV area. I've noticed how the media has been pushing since we've been here. A lot of media outlets picked up on the fact that I said restaurants out here, in my opinion, tend to lean towards promoting alcohol more than they promote food. That's been headlines more than us being in an actual city and being blessed enough to touch the people that we touch. We ran to a lot of people that was extremely nice. We even went to a comedy show randomly, but that's another reason why I'm keeping most of those videos to protect the restaurant owners because it's not gonna be constructive and it's just gonna be them getting tore down and I don't want that. Past those 12 videos, I still got about six or seven and I'm gonna be releasing those throughout the next couple of days. I appreciate y'all. God bless you, have an amazing day, y'all be safe. That video, they were saying they got 20 plus Keith Lee orders. Make it 21. I got it, but let's try it. We're going to 10. We spent $69.11. The custom service my family said was an 8 out of 10. Originally, we went to a location that was on A Street, but then my wife checked her DMs, and it was a message from them saying that that location, unfortunately, was lost in a fire on August 5th. So they operate out of a Queen Chapel location. We went, it was a lot of people there, but this is part of the public category, so I'm excited. I'm sure everything I got, we're going to try it and we're going to 10. I do want to mention, they've been reaching out since January of 2023. So they OGs. Rasta Possum, jerk box and mac, jamming salmon with plantains and cabbage. 
That was hard for me because I was his salmon. Salmon, salmon. Presentation wise, they got it. This looks amazing. It's real saucy. I do the second bag, touch my tongue. This is very spicy, but it's extremely good. It's spicy, it's creamy, it's a little salty, but I don't mind because the spice takes over for it. It's in the back of my throat right now. My eyes watering. Okay, this is probably the spicy thing I've had so far. It's delicious though. It's the most balanced spice I've had, even though it's the spiciest. And I give it an 8.6 out of 10. I should eat this whole thing though. I will eat the whole thing, but I shouldn't. This is the jerk chicken. Now I've had a lot of jerk chicken in my day. But I haven't had a jerk chicken this saucy in a minute. I usually get like the dry jerk chicken, like the dry rug. It's a mix of both. It's dry rub and saucy. Oh, that's deep flavor. Like, it's been yeah, marinating. It's been marinating for a minute. It's super tender. It's real earthy. It's real. Mm, this up there with some of the best jerk chicken I've had. It's a nine. Mm, I didn't make myself a jerk chicken box sandwich. I made as good decisions as I did made. This is delicious. In this form, this is a 9.1 out of 10. It's elevated a little bit, like not as much. This is salmon. Mm -hmm. It's on the saltier side, in my opinion. I think they make it like that because it's cabbage, so you eat it with the cabbage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the cabbage don't have much salt on it, so. Pretty plantain. Boy. Why is this not the first place that we came to when we came in DC? From that Drake chicken to this salmon. Again, the salmon is a little salty, but it's very flavorful, sweet. This cabbage is just super fresh and snappy, so it balances well with the salmon. This is cooked to perfection, if you ask me. I ain't never had a plantain cooked like this, and I love it. This whole play for me is a 9.2 out of 10. For sure. Interesting, yes. I usually like my plantains to be like a little bit more softer on the inside and crunchy on the outside, but this is like firm. And Super I don't mind firm. it. It's seasoned well. I don't know how they cook it. It's like a little crunch or something. Mm -hmm. I love how they cook it. It's like glazed almost. Caramel, yeah. Mm -hmm. Super caramel. I've been using that a lot. Oh, yeah. What'd you give us? 9.3. Oh, yeah. 9.5. Overall, for whatever it's worth, I'm officially stamping this as the best Caribbean food I've ever had. Not truly appreciate the reaching out. This made my DC trip for me. And as always, I pray and hope after this, they continue to reach their target audience. Wait, remind me of your name again? Uh, Keith. Keith Lee. Yes, we yeah. were waiting for you. Oh, yeah. He just wanted to pay for some food. What? Yeah. This is what he does. Yeah. Yeah. I swear to God. One second. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, how much for the customers though? We want to get uh, so two grand to pass out food and then two grand for yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Okay. It's the Keith Lee effect, and the video hasn't even dropped yet. So. God bless you. Have an amazing day. Y'all be safe. With my morning PSAs. Y'all know Keith Lee, the little food tester dude, been in the city. So he just walking around here talking about he ain't post DC too much. He did 15 videos because the food ain't look too good. That's that and third. Bro, I was your friend at first, but like, bro, you a geek now. You becoming the norm, bro. When you come to a person's city, you tap in with a big name in that city, and that big name gonna take you to the good restaurants, bro. You keep walking around asking random people, doing goofy, trying to make DC look wild, like we just goofy. The food here goofy. No, bro, you don't even know what you doing, bro. Like, come on, bro, chill out, bro. For our real live, Keith Lee, you come back here, I'm gonna have the whole city rob you. Like, chill out. Over our feed, made the news, all that good stuff. But we just want to know, who gave you that list, fam? Who gave you the list? Because the D, the M, and the V would not have given you that list. Mm -mm. See how it works is we have DC proper. A lot of us work in the city when we have our hybrid days and we live in Maryland or parts of DC that haven't been gentrified. But a lot of us, we live in like PG County. Uh, we're in Northern Virginia. Um, some of us are out there in like some parts of like, you know, Hoco, close to the Anne Arundel. A lot of our good foodie spots are spread out. Okay. Um, 
And for a lot of us, these grass walls and hookah is not us. It's not. And also, whoever told you to go to that one carryout spot, who did that to you? Who did that? Did you hit a Big Slim? Did you call him up? Because Big Slim be knowing. He do be knowing. But I don't want you to get disappointed by our food scene because we do have good food here. You just got to have a plug and a connect to tell you. Don't listen to these transplants. These transplants don't know. They barely ride the metro. And the girlies who grew up in the area, we didn't have a car when we grew up. We had a smart trip card and then we got a car for those of us who are from here. But <sighs> Keith, don't listen to our transplant cousins. Give us another shot. Just come on over across the line. You might have to take a fly out to Wakanda Waldorf because they got some good food down there. Specifically, Burn Box Pizza. And also, there's this Peruvian spot. It's over there. I think it's near the Ulta. They got that good Ulta, too. But anyway, that's not why we're here. But go ahead and give us another chance, Keith. Don't, don't have that be the determinant factor of the DMV. And also, real quick, Baltimore, that's our cousin. That's our cousin. She come to the functions, but she's not she's not part of the DMV part. Okay. But give us another chance, Keith. All right. All right. Hope to see you around the area. You and the family and the little, you know, the black sprinter. Okay, bye. Keith, hey. Again, y'all can eat me up about this, but Keith Lee is at the point where he needs a cultural strategist and a researcher. And I'm not trying to make him the next Anthony Bourdain. That man can stay humble and low key, eating in a sprinter with Ronnie, his family and security. But with much influence comes responsibility. And at this point, we are on our third unsuccessful food tour. And this tour is not just Washington DC. He, he did a DMV food tour. That is DC, Maryland, and Virginia. And I'm actually the resident of Washington DC. I did a vlog back in 2014 about Washington DC sucks. Cause I used to live in Trinidad Northeast and I too have a shellfish allergy. But between the DMV, like you're going, dude, you're doing Baltimore, all of Maryland, one of the most diverse hubs in the United States. And you're coming out with a mostly unproductive food tour. After first coming on here and saying you were having a hard time finding food in DC because everything's alcohol based. With much influence comes responsibility. And he's just at a point where he cannot fully take on this responsibility, even just with him and whatever few handlers he has. He needs somebody who's dedicated to researching a city he's going to visit and going through the DMs, even if he at first just picks out the DMs that he's interested in, in um, reviewing. And the researcher then goes through that list and curates a primary list, a secondary list in case things go wrong. And also because yeah three failed cities but that food truck back in dallas with the black mom whose son is already has a large following on here and then sherelle hodge was on the food truck too and the son of sherelle is always doing some shenanigans to, for engagement to drum up their revenue on this ad and of course some drama popped off with that food truck just for the son to come back a year later and again try to use keith lee's name to drum up some more drama people like that should never have access to keith lee Having a strategist and researcher on the team is about productivity, profitability, and safety. Oh, he went to the wrong spots. No, he went to the right spots. DC food is curry out. Oohs and ahs. Hong Kong. That's what y'all eat. It's the same like when he was in New York and he got that salmon chopped cheese. <laughs> the best food in the DMV is usually going to be from somebody else's culture. I ain't going to lie to you. Indian food, Ethiopian food. Middle Eastern food, some of that stuff. Some of the best ethnic foods you're going to find is in D.C. But when it comes to good black soul food, no, you're not going to find it in D.C. Go to Baltimore. Once again, thank you for watching Room for Tea. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Turn on your post notifications so you're notified every time I upload. Follow me on Instagram at Room for Tea with two A's at the end. We'll see you guys in my next video. Have a blessed rest of your night.